Hello, welcome back to this Halion 6 tutorial series. Today we're talking about the step modulator. I've created a straightforward sawtooth wave with a little bit of filter. So we've got this really basic standard sound. And the step modulator is here in the edit zone tab. And this is a, it's basically a step sequencer. And we can click and drag in these zones to create any kind of pattern we want. And then when we've created our pattern, we need to do something with it. If I press a note now, nothing's going to happen. It's not plugged into anything. But as we've now discovered, the modulation matrix is where all the magic happens. So here is our step modulator. Let's assign it to filter cutoff. Dial in a little bit of effect. And now it's going to do 16 different steps with different cutoffs so it's using whatever value the particular modulation bar is set to it's going to apply that much modulation to the thing we've mapped to and in this case that's the filter cutoff we can determine how many steps are in the sequence here and these controls down here basically reflect whatever we've currently selected so this is step two it's at level 100 we have a snap value which draws some little lines on the grid so when we draw it draws in quantized values but if we increment this to step three then we're, we've selected this one and you can see we're at one percent Drag up, give it a little bit more. Step four is down here now. Make that a bit more intense. We can then apply slopes to the beginning and ends of each of these bars. On the rising edge, by this much. On the falling edge, not that much, and guess what? So if we dial this slope amount fully in, we're basically now we're starting to draw something that looks more like uh, a wave than a bar chart. And we're getting a similar kind of effect that we could achieve in the envelope section, if we applied a filter envelope, we, we would be able to more or less completely recreate this. And at 0%, it's as if we didn't turn the slope on at all. We have various sync modes. So at the moment it's set to tempo plus beat. What does that mean? Well, look at our transport bar. It's randomly in the middle of nowhere at the moment. So if I make this a little bit more obvious what's going on and set the first two really high and then we go low. Here you can you tell that there's a little kind of skip at the start and then it starts playing the sequence. So that's because I'm not at the beginning of the song. If I go to the beginning of the song, if I go to beat number two. So basically it's tracking, it's basically it's taken that sequence and it's applied it in 16th notes to like an overlay on the song and wherever you are in the transport bar it will play that. So, if I draw a single line, four bar note, and turn the sequence on, if I move that one beat forward, reset my locators,
still playing the sequence within the within the constraints of each bar. And there it's wrapped around on itself, but it's actually starting the sequence at the beginning of each bar. If we switch to tempo plus retrig instead, then it now ignores the sequence. It doesn't care where in the song we are. So if I just make this a little bit more kind of normal. It started playing the sequence immediately rather than waiting for the next beat segment. And if we turn it off, it disengages from the uh, the host sequence set entirely, and now it's completely within our control how fast we, uh, we we have the sequence. Going back to sync mode, we have this retrigger mode. So if retrigger mode is off, every time I press a key, it carries on playing the sequence from where it left off. Whereas in first note mode, like go. The only thing to, that's basically it for the step modulator. It's a pretty simple um, module. This effect can be applied to absolutely anything we want. So that was cut off, but if we switch to pitch, then we've got, you know, an arpeggiator. Now then, retrigger mode, I've just reset some of the parameters so that we've got a really clear idea of what's going on with these notes. Just let me play the sequence. High, low, high, low. Okay, so we're in first note mode here. That means that whatever sequence of notes that you play, the sequence is supposed to retrigger each time uh, if you've only if you've only got one note held down. So if I hold this note down and then play a second note, it's not supposed to re-trigger the sequence. Now, but those two notes are playing independently. You can hear those two things playing different sequences. If I now introduce a third sequence, they're all playing completely independently and they've not interacted with each other at all. I can't figure out how to make this work. I'm going to show you a way that I can in a moment that either this is a bug or I'm missing something really, really obvious. If we go down to each note, this is supposed to re-trigger the sequence every single time I play in a new note. There's my old one. Low. High. By introducing that second note, I didn't alter the first note's sequence at all. Each of these sequences is, to my ears, completely independent. This is how I think it's supposed to work. There is a second way that you can uh, implement step modulator. I'm going to turn this off. And if we go, to, we haven't dealt with MIDI modules yet, but I'm sure you can follow me. If we click this new, create new MIDI module, go down to modulation, mono step modulator. Now I've added a MIDI module to the program that replicates the step modulation function exactly. So I've now got this brand new step modulator. So if I create exactly the same sequence, so we've got high, high, low, low, and then go back over to my modulation matrix. And instead of plugging in the step modulator, which is the zones internal kind of pre-wired modulator, if I go down to modulation module and select this thing instead, that's now dialed in my MIDI module. Go back over to the sound tab. Remember, sound always gives you a context sensitive panel for the currently selected program entry. So because I've selected mono step modulator, then I'm going to get, oops, I'm running too fast. Okay, so now I'll put it in retrig mode. Set retrig mode to first note. 
and let's do that thing again. So let it let it run. Every time I'm introducing a new note now, you can see the three notes I've played on the virtual keyboard. They're all in sync and they're synced to the first note that I played. That one. Doesn't matter how like off off how, how syncopated I introduce any new notes, that thing is consistent. If I switch to each note, every time I press a new key now. restarts the sequence and they're all in sync uh, so the difference is each note the each note option is refiring the entire sequence for all of the keys that I've got played simultaneously and it's keeping everything in sync the internal step modulator doesn't seem to do that and I, I have to wonder whether or not it's a bug and if it's not please tell me what I'm doing wrong because I can't make the internal one do that that's how intuitively I expect it to work. That's what the manual says it's supposed to do, and it works quite quite clearly, but it doesn't work when you use the, the internal zone one. So I'm tempted to say, kind of sack this. I know it's nice to have it kind of plugged into your screen, and if you don't need that functionality where it's re-triggering at, at your behest, then fine, you know, knock yourself out. If it's not causing you any trouble, it's absolutely no problem at all. But this one seems to be superior in every way, functionally identical, but just actually does what the manual says. Anyway, there you go, that's that's what I've discovered. So that's the step modulator done. Another module down. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, found it useful. And if you did, please consider subscribing, hit notifications, you find out when the next episode comes, onto the sampler next. See you then.